Yeah, I think we're just in a time of transformation. Um, it's hard to put one's finger on exactly what or how. Um, I think human transformation, um, uh, the opportunity to embrace a more uh, benevolent uh, use of, of um, the digital world, um, the opportunity to look at oneself again uh, as a community, as a state, as a, as a country, as a nation, as a culture, and realize that we are all very connected now and isolationism is really not a choice. Uh, and so I hope that the transformation that I speak to really um, culminates at the end of the day in us realizing that uh, we must remain um, uh, together, uh, not separate. I think this is the year when we will see a really big take up of um, 5G networks and all the uh, associated applications that come with it. I expect to see some dramatic uh, improvements and leapfrogging in advanced manufacturing, in telemedicine, uh, in entertainment and gaming, uh, and, and many, many more. So, uh, so it's a trend that I'm quite excited about. I think for me, you know, the trend is hopefully um, the ability to um, see probably this year uh, more and more electric vehicles, you know, maybe even outstripping uh, gas vehicles. Uh, on the streets. And so I think that trend uh, will bode well for not only um, electric vehicles, but also hopefully autonomous vehicles in the near future. Uh, that's something we're looking forward to. How the world is going to change post COVID. You know, I think when we started off in the, in the COVID world with work from home, there was a, a huge euphoria about work from home. But what it's really taught us is the opposite, which is being together in that time and those personal bonds that are, are made over a meal or just spending time through spontaneous discussions together and creating ideas is super valuable. And while we may look at the opportunity to, to work from home and, and have our freedom as something that has, has you know, started off as, as really unique, the reality is I think it's really taught us to value the time with each other. Uh, one of the big trends that I'm excited about is democratization and globalization of entrepreneurship. Uh, there are more and more people all around the world uh, wanting to take the jump into becoming entrepreneurs and we are seeing proliferation of fantastic companies all around the world and in our world of Europe and Israel there's just so many exciting uh, startups uh, that we're seeing and we're delighted that people are taking uh, the plunge into the world of entrepreneurship because it really is um, one of those core areas that powers the world uh, as we know it.